I'm Judy, and I'm a former food service worker. My mobile home looks like this. It needs a lot of work. It's filthy, it's cluttered, it's not safe. And then these mice are running all over the house. I'm Maxine, and I'm a longtime friend and neighbor of Judy's. She has tried several times to capture the mice, but she won't let them be killed. So she has taken recently to feeding them. They're her friends. I feel sorry for them, because I know they're hungry, and I don't want them to die. I am a hoarder, but I am also a germaphobe. She very much has this feeling of germs everywhere, everybody, everywhere. The fact that she's a germaphobe and that she's continued to live in the situation that she lives in is really very hard to weigh. I'm Renee and I'm Judy's caregiver and neighbor. A neighbor of ours introduced us to each other and we just kind of gelled and ended up becoming friends. And then I went to school to become a caregiver because I felt like Judy needed some help. She sanitizes things in the sun regularly. If we have a real hot day, I want to put out things in the sun. In my mind, I feel like they're gonna be sanitized. <laughs> Washing clothes for me is a big job. She averages washing one load of laundry eight times in a row before she kind of feels like they're clean. <clears throat> and she always uses bleach, and so it takes the color out of her clothes and everything. I just do not understand why I am a germaphobe and yet live like I do. Judy likes to write up lists, and it could be anything from trying to remember to buy a light bulb, to go grocery shopping, pay bills. Lists are extremely hard to let go. Even if they're 40-some years old, I still want to keep them, thinking someday I'll go through them. But it's not just lists. It's a book, maybe, old catalogs, maybe, that I haven't looked at. Newspapers, or the funnies are in there, or some cute picture of a dog or an animal. Can't let that stuff go until I've gone through it. I'm Sherry, and Judy is my mother. My mother is a hoarder, and always has been. When I was growing up as a little girl, I just didn't know how to deal with it. But as I was getting older, I'm like, Mom, what are you doing? Raising her by myself wasn't easy, because she got kind of rebellious when I was like 10. That's when we kind of started <coughs> having a lot of trouble. We just butted heads a lot. And I would try my best to clean up the living room, maybe the dining room, do the dishes, and it would stay that way for a brief period and it could be a day, and then it would be messy again. I just told her, I said, I know that would be devastating to you, but it might be the very best thing for you. I want her to be safe. I want her to be healthy, despite everything that's happened. I still want the best for her. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good, morning. Good morning. My name is Corey Chalmers. I'm an extreme cleaner that specializes in biohazard and hoarding. Judy, how are you doing today? I honestly feel like I'm at my ex execution. Oh, well, that's not <laughs> so, a good start to no. the day. Listen, <laughs> but I'm trying. You have a lot of people that trying. are here I know. to help you, okay? Like your granddaughter, who's here for the first time in her life. How do you feel today, Christina? Nervous to see what it looks like. I don't really know what to expect. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Can't breathe. Sorry. It's all right. 
I know this is hard for my grandma because she's not used to people coming in her house. What are your concerns for today? Things being taken from me that I don't want to be. Okay. People in there going through my stuff. <laughs> it is probably going to be hard. So one thing that we might think about is that this might represent your best chance toward really being happy, safe, and healthy. Judy's obviously really distraught right now about this whole process. She does not seem ready to have people touching her stuff. I think the best thing I can do at this point is to take her in, just one-on-one -on -one work with her and learn what her parameters are, what her rules are as far as what she'll let go and what she wants to keep. So what if we talk about these shredded up newspapers on the floor? There's droppings on them, there's, there's urine on them from the rodents. So what prevents you from throwing stuff like this away? I have to go through it and look through it first. Tell me what um, you would expect that might be in something like this that you would have a loss of. Um, an article that I want to look at, a picture of maybe a, an animal, a cute picture. This is from over a year ago. I know it. And it's been on your floor. I know it. And you haven't read it yet. Right. It's something that I want to keep until I can look at it. The problem is the very first thing that I picked up in here you want to hang on to. And so I'm pretty sure that everything else that I pick up, you're going to have reasons to want to hang on to too, and nothing will change. And we'll leave here with the fear of you dying in this home. The goal right now is to make some decisions on all the things that we put in boxes. So this is where it's going to get a little challenging for you. Do you want to keep this? Yes, I do. I can bleach them. I'll keep. Keep. Oh, yeah, keep. I know it's icky, but don't throw it away. It's... Why? It's got mouse poop on it. I know it. Everything does. A mouse has pooped on it. Fine, that one's fine. Judy has a reason or excuse for everything, and one of the ones she keeps saying is that she's going to clean stuff. Keep. Just like she said that laying something out in the sun is going to somehow sanitize it. I'm going to challenge one of your cleaning processes, OK? So I'm going to get my ATP monitor. I'm going to swab the surface of something that she says is cleaned by the sun and prove to her that it's not working. Below 40 on this is clean. 1,158. So is your process working? No. I'm not doing this to embarrass you. No. I'm shedding some light. I haven't washed it yet. With... How about the bowl? Would you clean that? Um, what's in the bottom? Mouse? M yeah, mouse crap. If we weren't here, would you keep this? No. Why haven't you thrown it away yet? I haven't gotten to, the, to it yet. OK. And again, that's the issue. I know You're it. never going to get to this. No, I know it. Right now, you have 25 people standing around that's to help obviously. you get to it. Do you want to get to it or not? Can you let go of this stuff to save your life? Mom, I am scared for your health. I'm going to have to call somebody to pull you out of there. And I don't want that. Let me take these boxes and get them out of your Let hair. me see what's in there first. Just say, dump it. Do it. No, say I it. No, I can't. That, some of that means something to me. What does this mean to you? It can be washed. I'm done. <laughs> Is that more important than your daughter? <laughs> I'm just all kinds of emotions right now. I don't know what to do. We can't force her to do it. We're running out of time, and I don't think she understands the gravity of what's at stake. We're just switching tactics to harm reduction, which is just all about your safety in the home. Just making pathways to your exits and to your important functional items, your kitchen, your bathroom, three foot wide. With your walker, I think that's necessary. Okay? There's things that we're not going to be able to fix today that are going to make a safe home. That's functioning utilities. I know the toilets haven't been working, so that's something you're going to have to address. But what we can do is make the pathways. Okay, we'll start the process. But there's a lot to be done there to make those pathways. It's not easy to shuffle that stuff around to open up three feet. This is what we're up against. Underneath all those boxes and big things is tons of paper. And I know you have a hang up on paper, 
And I'm begging and pleading with you to let us remove that so we can get to the door. There's no, absolutely no reason why you need any of that. So if you scoop it up, though, there's some good stuff. What? That's so important that you... It's not that it's so important. I just want... It. There's a the film. Might be from years ago. Oh. This is trash. This looks like it has been sitting here a good 10 years. Those I can return and get the money for it. I... Look. You're a lot of money. And then You're, can, look at me. I can return the, Mom, the money for it. Nobody's going to want to buy that. Look at me. This is it. You have got to trust Corey and his guys. You have got He's to. He's not going to go through it. I mean, you have grab got stuff. to do this. Please. How far are we? All right. All right. We just want to deal with the stuff on the floor right there. That's it. Make this sacrifice for your future, please. Just don't go, yes. OK, I'm going to deal with this, I promise you. Just this, OK? Just kind of go through stuff, please. I promise right. you I will, OK? Let's get you out to the tent, and I promise I will make progress in here that you can trust, OK? Is Sherry in there? She's in the house. Wait, Sherry? She'll come in a minute. She's just having a moment. Wow. We're trying to get to the front door, you guys. That's where our focus needs to be. Our time's up. Now it's time to take Judy and her family into the house to see the little bit of progress we were able to make. Not an ideal ending by any means. We came in here with the best intentions. We tried every trick in the book with her, and yet, devastatingly, we're walking away with her having not much change at all. There are still a lot of health hazards, safety hazards in the home. As a licensed psychologist, I'm obligated to notify the proper agencies when I see that an older person is in danger, and Judy is most definitely in danger, I'm going to call Adult Protective Services. None of us would feel good if something bad were to happen to you in this house. I think we would all feel a certain sense of responsibility. It's all gonna be a long road ahead, but I'm still gonna be here for her. I'll still do whatever I can to support her. No, thank you. That yeah. seems like it's a lot more important than some newspapers, doesn't it? <laughs> I wish I could have done better. I know I disappointed myself and everybody. But I'm very, very grateful for everybody's kindness. That means a lot. You take good care of yourself, all right? Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.